Good morning, Spirit of God Christian Church, and here we are on day 16 of our church-wide corporate fast. It's Tuesday morning, and we are grateful for the Lord blessing us to see another day, but more importantly, to give us another opportunity to make progress in this church-wide fast, the one that he ordained, the one that he proclaimed for us, which means that he's certainly going to bless it. I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful to all of you for all of the support that you offer up to one another and to me as well. I'm thankful to the Lord for continuing to bless the people of Spirit of God Christian Church in everything that they do. I want you to know to have expectancy, to be excited about the days ahead and what the Lord's going to do as a result of this fast. I want you to know that no matter what comes your way, that the Lord shall be with you and we are to put our trust in him even on those very tough days that we have just as a result of living in the world. But I want to give you some encouragement today. And I know the scripture won't seem like it, but if you just indulge me a little bit, I promise you, you'll walk away, hopefully being encouraged today as well, because I want you to be able to go forward in this day 16 and continue to do the work that the Lord has and make your progress on this fast. Our scripture today comes from Job chapter 13, verse 15 out of the King James. It says really simply this, though he slayed me, Yet will I trust him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. What Job was saying as he's gone through some of the most horrific things that has ever happened to any human being. Job lost his family. Job lost his finances. Job lost his fitness. But one thing he did not lose was his faith. What Job said was, though he slayed me, I understand that what is coming to me, this sickness upon my body is coming to me because God is bragging on me. I've lost my children. I understand the hurt and the pain that I'm going through this morning and this loss. I've lost finances. I don't, I, he is my source, but all the resources have dried up. He says, but though he slayed me, yet will I trust him. And I want you today on this Tuesday to get a yet in your spirit that no matter what comes your way, heartache, heartbreak, suffering is a part of the human condition. Jesus will remind us that in this world, you will have trouble, but take heed, I've overcome the world. What he's saying is in this world, you're going to have tribulation. You're going to have trouble. It's okay. I want you to put your trust in me because I made sure you'll have victory. I want us to walk out today knowing that we're going to have victory no matter what life brings us. Sometimes sickness comes upon us. We have to still put our trust in him. Sometimes loss comes upon us, we got to still put our trust in him. Sometimes negative things, heartache and heartbreak come, but we got to still put our trust in him. And even Paul would say to the church at Rome, in Rome 8, 17, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be in us. What he was saying was, I put my trust in God that in the end, no matter what I'm enduring, what I'm going through, that I put my trust in him because I know he loves me and I know he means me good and not harm. So whatever comes my way, I put my trust in him because it's still going to make out for my good and not for my harm. And in the end of Job, when you go read Job chapter 42, what you'll find out, it said that God turned the, the things of Job around. And the thing about it was he gave him twice as much as he had before. You know why? Because Job trusted him even when he was going through his go through. As you're going through some things in life, continue to put your trust in. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him because I know in the end, not only do I win, but I know in the end that God loves me so that he'll provide for me even double for my trouble, double over what it is that I've lost, he'll restore back to me. So that ought to encourage you today. That ought to put a smile on your face. Even if your brokenness right now is coming forward, I want you to know, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Put your trust in God. And watch what God will do for you in the end. All right, Spirit of God Christian Church, let's go get this Tuesday done. Day 16, let's knock this out. God's got your back. Make no mistake about it. No matter what, I'm still going to trust him. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.